Why are you laughing? Stop it. I can't film with you all stood there laughing at me. It puts me off. It throws me off my stride. Stop laughing. I can't do it, Sam. I'm not doing it now. <laughs> you, now you're cracking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, I'm trying. Now I'm livid now. Yes. Hi. Welcome back to another video. This is... It's an update and build video rolled into one, so you've got a two for one special. This is basically an, a break dance update. Uh, it's finished, by the way. And I've also, well, yeah, I've also made a start on the um, Fallot Flipper, which is the Super Bowl model. Oh man, that's so tough. It's really frustrating. We'll sh you'll see after this. I'm doing the intro after I've started building it. It'll all make sense. I want to show you the finished product of the um, the break dance. The motor issue is still ongoing. I've, I've figured out it's not the motor. It's what I'm trying to run it with. That stupid plug for me is not going to work. I need a, um, a proper switch transformer, which is like 40 quid for the one I've seen. And in the moment, I've just got other priorities. The fares are coming back soon. I need to save some pennies for them for the, um, the vlogs. Obviously, the vlogs are the bread and butter of the channel. So I need to make sure I've got enough money for that. But we'll, we'll get one. I'll get the flipper built. Then we'll have two models to run. Then I'll invest in one. It's just like having the spare cash. It's like 40 quid. Doesn't seem a lot, but it is really. That's like a couple of fares for me. So we're going to get into the um, the breakdance. I'll show you the finished article. This thing looks incredible. The way it comes together and the finishing touches just really make it look stunning. Like the top sign makes it pop. It looks fantastic. Um, we'll show you again. We'll, we'll do what we did last time. We'll show you with some great detail. Because the GoPro doesn't focus when you bring things in close, it goes all blurry. I use my phone and get some lovely focused shots of the um, the models, and we'll do that again. But I will show you it here. This is basically it now. The top sign is, just adds it. Um, it's a really, really, really smart model. Even like without motorized, without the movement, it's still as a static model. It's beautiful. It looks stunning. There's quite a few imperfections, but. Um, this was my first phallus, so it's, it was never going to be perfect, like I said in the last video. Um, let's move it back. The back bit is really, really difficult. Um, so many little tiny parts. You can see the back there all built up. And you've got like the um, the back cabin. You've got the um, stairs, the ladder. I just think it looks fantastic. And we'll get you some nice detailed shots of this in a minute. That is the break dance. So Jake, thanks so much for that, dude. We will get it running, I promise. It's just when little... Uh, Ticket booths. That is it was a great model, a fantastic model, and I've really enjoyed building it. Um, I'm surprised at myself. Um, I didn't think I'd enjoy Fowler too much because it's notoriously hard, but I, I really have. If anybody wants to send me the Lego Drop Tower, the Haunted Mansion, um, comment below because that is one I'm after. But it's like 200 tokens, so we do still have models in the works. But really, really, just want to get back to vlogging. I'm desperate to get back and hopefully um, 4th of July we'll be back doing some vlogs. Maybe not a traditional travelling fair but there will be vlogs on the channel Seaside Results. So that's it guys, Yeah, I hope you enjoy watching me build the flipper or start building the flipper. The stickers are a friggin nightmare. So give me a massive thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and um, yeah let's get to the, um, the flipper.
idea of someone's mowing their lawn. Welcome back. Here we go. As you saw from the um, the clip at the beginning of the video, we have started the uh, the flipper build. I've just been applying some stickers. Now, one complaint I have about uh, these Fala models. I know I'm not a model enthusiast, so maybe people like doing this, but cutting these stickers out, there's just no need for it. Just have a sheet where they peel off. There's no need why you should have to physically cut these stickers out. It just makes life so, so hard because you're left with all these these white edges, I don't know if you can see them, but it's all, you need to cut it inch perfect or you're left with that. And that's the best I can do on the on these these stairs. They look dreadful, but it's the best I could do. I mean, they're fine, look, that is, that's, that's beautiful. But that's a mess. And I just think pff, there's just no need. There's no need why these couldn't come ready to peel off. So, Fala. Sort it out, sort it out. That's one major, major complaint so far about this model. But that's all I've done really. I've, it's taken me ages and, and, and it's still a mess. I, I'm <laughs> I'm not very impressed with the stickers at the moment, but when everything's done up, you, you probably won't notice. It's the same with the break dance. The break dance stickers aren't perfect on the stairs, but now it's all done. You don't really notice, to be honest. But yeah, that's done. I just wish Fowler would do something about this because it's just overkill. There's just no need to make you physically cut them out. I mean, look at some of these that need cutting out. Look at those little tiny circles. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous, Fowler. And here comes the tricky part. Now we're, we're applying the motor to the base. And this looks really tricky. I mean, with this, there's like... You get this little pack, which is springs and nuts and bolts and all that crap. There's like, oh my God, there's like clear plastic tubing. <laughs> Literally, there's this to work with, which is obviously lifts the platform up. Looking at the video, I thought, right, I've done the break dance, which is supposedly one of the hardest ones. I can I can tackle the the uh, the, the flipper. And uh, yeah, it's, it's extremely difficult, but we'll give it a go. We'll, we'll give it a go. Um, just following the instructions the best I can. Four, eight, we need to find four, eight, which is this piece. Just show you me cutting it out, basically like that. Um, yeah, but I think once I get in the flow of doing it, it'll be all right. Obviously we just close, um, shave up these rough edges. You can use a file, but I just use these to get that nice and flush. Um, so now I actually turn the base upside down and then the motor is mounted at the back. Uh, yeah, I'm not good. Like, it's so difficult to film these builds. What I do is I'm going to construct it and come back when it's done because it's, it's so hard to work around the camera and film it. And I feel under pressure if I'm filming it as well. And I normally screw it up. So <laughs> we'll come back uh, when we do this. We'll show you this. This is how the motor comes. Like that in a, in, a, in a paper bag. This one has two copper clips. This one is a, a good motor. It has the two clips. Like I said, the brake dance. It's, I've tried this one, and it's not the motor. It's the transformer. I need to get another another adapter, but it's it's like fifty quid, and at the moment I can't warrant spending that. Uh, not with the fares on the horizon. I need to kind of save every penny I've got. But we'll, we'll get it eventually. But at the moment, let's just get the two models built and then we can worry about making a move um, uh, later down the line. So, yeah, they're the two bits I've got now. We've got to somehow attach them to that, then that to that, then that to that. And all there. It's so intimidating, but it's really not that bad. Um. <laughs> so, that's the, uh, the motor done. Um, Sam's just dropped all her paperwork on the floor. Yeah, Sam's here doing college work and I'm building a model, so... <laughs> Sam's doing something productive and I'm doing something slightly productive. Is this productive? Yeah, if you like. Building, yeah, it's productive. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping busy, you know, my hands are busy. Um, I'm not sure if I've done this right then, actually, looking at that picture. Um, yeah, I've done that right, I think. I don't know. I don't... Oh no, maybe the wire should go underneath the motor, actually like that give you more slack with the cable i don't know just yeah that's how the picture looks i'm happy with that right now we've got 
this is the thing that scares me the most like, like anything to do with springs and glue I'm not sure what to glue and what not to glue is a spring to be installed mm, uh, um, we'll be fine I'm sure it sounds it if I need it but I did build the sounds busy I did build the break dance single handedly uh, so I'm determined to build this single handedly as well right we'll get this built <laughs> down to these bits they could clip onto there but there's there's a there's a diagram that says glue but I'm really not sure if I should glue this because once you glue it you can't go back so that's obviously like hooked to that that's a lifting mechanism like that they keep coming up so do they glue in but if they glue it's not going to move freely surely unless you glue like that bit the centerpiece there the whole I can see yeah I think you glue the middle I'm pretty sure but you have to be so careful with the glue, you have to be 110% sure what you're gluing because once you've glued it, you're not, it's it. So, I think we're gonna I might do a little bit of research on YouTube before I commit and actually glue that. But I'm thinking you just but then they, they don't even touch, so how can they glue together if they don't, they don't even touch? Maybe I don't know, bloody thing, overly difficult fella. Next time, send me bloody Lego Jake. I want that haunted house, by the way. <laughs> Where's four five? Four five. This is a tiny little piece. This one. I do recommend when cutting, holding on to the piece because I've had incidents where it literally you clip it and it just goes absolutely flying and you lose it forever. Three little, three little cuts needed. Right, and that's the size of the piece there, which is my minute absolutely minute <sighs> again just making don't, don't, why do you have to cut them out just make them like clip out it's just overkill again fella overkill i'm sure there's people out there who, who really enjoy this stuff but not me um four 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 so four 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 is this beast this beast Actually, I think the hardest part of this model is the stickers. How many likes on TikTok for you to get me a order? <sighs> Shit. I don't know how I managed it, but I got phallic glue on my GoPro on and off button, as you can see. Look at the size of the pieces we're working with. We've got, we've got to get out four and nine, which is that tiny little, looks like a, looks like a little screw. But you see the size of the cutters there, and that's the size of that. Absolutely tiny. We have to try and get this out. That's 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 what we're working with here. Absolutely tiny, but we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Just lost me nut. This is extremely fiddly. No. That needs to go in that hole, <laughs> so that slots in there. I'm guessing like that. This is all com completing out of guesswork. So, it looks like it does on the diagram. What kind of noise was that? It's kind of a noise of confusion. Um, right. That's how it looks on the diagram, and that's how it looks in real life. Like that, like that, 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 that. So this is the state of play. Quite stressful this one, I've got to admit, it's quite it's quite tricky. But I think we're getting there. There's a couple of there's like three springs 
two springs I've installed and one more that sits on this. Um, I'm sure it'll come together, but that's how it looks at the moment. Obviously that's, it won't, that's obviously meant to stay down, isn't it, when the platform's attached. Uh, I don't know, but that kind of like springs up and lifts the platform. I don't know, I'm sure it'll come together, but that is how things are looking. Just not too bad, I'm just a little bit confused. It doesn't take a lot for me to get confused now, does it? But uh, um, we're doing all right, we're doing all right. So that is the, that's the thing I was worried about. It's, it's very tricky, but it's looking like, it's looking like it does in the, uh, in the brochure. It looks how it's supposed to look, which is uh, good news. So we're gonna leave it here today guys, I think for part one, I think I've built enough. I spent what? Probably been at about an hour and a half just constructing this little mechanism here. So the thing with these Fallon models is that um not to rush, just literally do a little bit bit at a time. Like I try to spend like an hour to an hour and a half a time. Otherwise I start getting impatient and just start getting really slapdash and just get really frustrated and just trying to just shove it all together really quick. So I, I kind of stop there, I'll do a little bit more tomorrow. And just do it like that really that's what i've done with the break dance and this is what i'm doing with this i find it's a much better way of doing it because then you, you've got 100 percent focus on what you're doing instead of getting frustrated and rushed and nobody likes to feel rushed even though i do want to get the finish for you guys obviously but i'm happy with it so far like once you kind of understand how it all works it's fine it's just it's visually daunting when you when you see all the parts and the instructions and they don't bloody make no sense and, and Fala they like to make life as difficult as they can for you with with the with the stickers and you, the fact that you have to cut them out individually which is pathetic I think like I said I'm, I'm not a model enthusiast and I'm sure model enthusiasts probably really like that kind of thing but I freaking hate it so that's it it's looking good it's looking good I'm just hope this works I think I've done it right I'm not sure. I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments. You will, you will like to correct me. <laughs> but that doesn't stay in there. And that's actually come out of that now. So, hey, what's going on? There we go. There we go. Right. Oh, then I don't <clears throat> know. I'm sure that has a way of sitting in there. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. But yeah, that is it for now. It, it's looking good. It's looking like the diagrams. <clears throat> so that is all good. All good. Double thumbs up. It's good.